What's this? Is it your button? <laughs> British summer time is over. <coughs> I'm kidding. We're just here for a cold snap. It's quite annoying, but you know what I mean? We had that weekend where I had my bikini on and now I'm like wrapped up like, oh, it's a bird flew past. I'm like wrapped up in, I mean, I've got my hoodie here, but that's, that's life, that's nature for you, isn't it? So, what, in case you guys are wondering about germinating seeds and thinking, oh, I wanna get some seeds ready or you've got some more seeds on the go, I've got a quick way, a quick cunning way to get your seeds germinated speedy for when the time's right because this, this is only going to last for a week people so don't stress, don't cry about it. So, so yeah, keep watching. So here we have it guys, the big reveal, the place for speedy seed germination. I give you the airing cupboard. So, sorry about that. So yeah, the big reveal is, it's the airing cupboard. It's, it's warm, and if you keep the plants moist, it's like the two, two of the main things when it comes to germination. So yeah, give it a go. But keep watching and you'll see what happens. So first things first, how I get my seeds to germinate, 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 germinate quick, is you get some water, you get your seeds. Here we go. I got some butternut squash seeds in there and leave them to soak for 12 hours. It doesn't have to be exactly 12 hours. It can be longer if you need. Some people I know who leave them on some tissue paper and leave them, keep them really moist and you can see the sprouts and the roots start to come out and that's when they propagate them. But I think 12, night, 12 hours is a sufficient amount of time. So, so yeah. <laughs> Cedar Thompson. I thought it was Wriggly Worm. <coughs> it's not Wriggly. I'm sorry, Cedar Thompson. Okay, I remember that. Cedar Wriggly Worm Thompson. No, not only Cedar Thompson. So here's a video of me. So here's a video of me. Here's a video of me. Here's a video of me. Video of me. Me of me. Dogs love me. Children love? Me. Rabbits love? No. Who pooped on the floor? Not me. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to show you two videos. One, the first one is going to be the seedlings which I kept in the greenhouse for too long. I mean, not greenhouse, sorry. The airing cupboard for too long. I forgot about them. I kept them in there for about four or five nights and they got extremely leggy, which is not, it's not good. It's not good to have leggy veg. And the next video, the second video, is going to be of the seedlings which I kept in there for two, pretty much like two, two nights, two nights and then half a day I kept them in there for. So yeah, the, the, the two days I think it's a sufficient amount of time to kind of keep your seedlings in the, in the airing cupboard. A difference a day made 24 little hours. So there you have it everybody. The quick way to germinate your seeds indoors without a greenhouse. It's a good way. I mean, it's a good fire way. I, I must we still use that even if I did have a greenhouse. So and another day we can discuss the greenhouse and how we built it. You can't we see the beauty? Yeah? So do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Bye. I look here and say bye. Bye. I'm gonna blow a kiss. I can hear that. Do, do a big, bigger kiss. Good boy.
Canadian people. 